All right. Hey, everybody. Okay. Gypsy Woo <laughs> Rhonda coming to you from Arizona. You can reach me through loveandlightwisdom.com and through Facebook uh, as Gypsy Woo Rhonda. Uh, let's see. So I wanted to let you all know I have been divinely guided to arrange a reunion conference coming up in November in Florida. So check it out. It's on my website or Eventbrite. It's under human. Uh, it's under um, Lightworkers United Messages for Humanity. So love, 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 likes, shares, all that. That's wonderful. Thank you in advance. And now I would love to introduce my first ever interview or er, interviewee er e um and it's uh philip philip barrow uh and uh he is an amazing being i think in all realms actually <laughs> so uh philip would you like to introduce yourself yeah uh philip barrow uh, if you know me, if you don't, uh, I've been I started stealing at four, four year old, uh, and I've learned that over the years, to the aspects that you are being, you can contact for knowledge and uh, like intellectual property rights. Actually, they've got it, and you can get it instead of getting it off Google, get it, get it within. And the most recent one was uh, a crystal source being. That's my highest aspect. And I've actually merged with her now and again. So all the other aspects of male, the highest one's female. Well, of course. <laughs> <I know. laughs> Typical one. <laughs> and, and she's in the head a lot, and she does actually criticize me well too much. She's oh, that's like, interesting. She's definitely, mm, okay. Yeah. So your female aspect, who is the highest, is that a specific, um, is that a known being? I mean... Do we know it's who? A, it, it's a crystal source being. Uh, I was doing some grid work uh, about four or five months ago. And while I was doing the grid work, it's like an event. She appeared and she said, I was a, I was rubbish at it. I'll do it. <laughs> and what she did, she used her energies and she uh, lifted the grid energy a bit. But uh, she's, she looks like, she's got like uh, features of a human, human but I'd, uh, like diamond blue crystals to it. She laughs a lot as well. Very, very joking. So okay. she's like the worst side of me in joking. <laughs> she's laughing all the time. So. Ah, yeah. okay. Well, all of you sound amazing. And uh, I know firsthand that, uh, you know, you, you are, uh, you are quite incredible with your healing ab uh, abilities and as uh, Archangel Raphael. So, um, and you were just, you know, before we came on, you were just telling me about your uh, your healing yourself with your uh, Achilles. So do you wanna kind of tell everybody a little bit about what you're doing? Well, well uh, recently I've contacted, in the last four or five weeks, it's been a bit active because it's supposed to be an event in November and I'm supposed to be part of it and it's a big earth event. I can't go into detail. Okay. And it's just like a nat nature one. But uh, I was doing an event with David and all of a sudden uh, these crystals, the underground, underneath crystals, you know the ones at eight miles underneath the heard of the million yeah. seed crystals, yeah. They, they like, their essence got in contact with me a little bit, but they weren't activated. So over the last few weeks, I've been trying, the last four weeks, I've been trying to activate them. And uh, I've even been to like a sacred place at Old Church where Merlin was, mm -hmm. a place where the public doesn't go to. And uh, there's a group of us and we, we, we merged with our highest aspect. I merged with the crystal source being for, for 10 minutes. Uh, I basically knew everything. That's not ego. I actually did know everything. Uh, and I had a very big power source, and that was to activate him at an eye level. And these these Lemurian crystals are to are like it's like a human grid. So in November, when we get an earthquake, there'll be a white light coming out of it, 
connecting to people and it'll lift their vibration. We also so help the people who've had the V any side effects it will it will mm. it, it will get rid of the the uh, bad side of it if you know what I mean the dark side of it and it's like an evening grid and after that it's supposed to be a solar flash so I was going to keep that secret but I'll tell you anyway <laughs> <laughs> woohoo you heard it but, here uh, first. <laughs> so okay. after, after 10 minutes she left put a lot of her essences with me she's lifted my vibration so it's a bit like an awakening in itself oh. so when I was doing healing last night on my healing event I could feel a lot a lot more power and I mean five or ten fold and a lot of people were uh getting better very very quickly you could see the change and everything uh, and i just i actually just knew it was going to happen i i knew what to do so i was, I was more quicker and more power and uh, uh when that event goes on youtube you should look at it because it's very very interesting oh you absolutely been, you, you should have you should have been there you would have found Oh, yeah, brilliant. I I probably <laughs> should have been. Um, I and and I tried to connect with uh, an event you had yesterday with uh, Rick and Deb. Actually, that's the one I'm talking one. about. No, that's okay. the one I'm talking about. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I, I I was I got on, but for some reason I wasn't able to get audio, and oh, wow. uh, I was already late, and yeah, I just wasn't able to get audio, so I kind of excused myself and uh left um mm -hmm. but uh, it, la it, it lasted four hours by the way <gasps> holy cow you could have gotten any time <laughs> oh my goodness that's uh that's another one of those records that you do mm. man but it, the, the other thing is i've known i now know how to help people who have been non that who have got covid and also the ones that have got vaccinated and that is using this crystal source energy. This is mm -hmm. using crystal source energy on its own. Uh, connect with the 11th chakra of the person, which is a blueprint, and then get the energy, which is like alive, to start changing the cell, uh, cell, cell, cell basically. You only have to do a few and it just spreads. And uh, people did change. It did change. It was quite remarkable, actually. Wasn't it? Some of it was be beautifully seen, actually. And uh, I think last Tuesday I was reading someone with COVID who had it and she, her throat was gone. If you know what I mean, it was 50% damage. Cleared all that out, cleared the headaches out, and she was miles better after. So, so a lot of eating was reversible. Okay. Wow, you know that's amazing. Yeah. So, so if they, um, if they continue to, you know, get get more of the boosters um, I mean does it just wipe that away or I mean I know the I know the the idea is for it not for people not to go back but uh, I mean are you going through their higher self or are you just working directly with them they've come to the conclusion that's not a good idea that wasn't a good I'm idea. working Did I'm you? working direct direct with them. okay yeah. okay so the my, per my, a my, yeah, my personal view I wouldn't have it for any money right <laughs> so, right in case I can't get rid of it but yeah, uh, yeah. I, I'd rather do self even you know. yeah and oh. uh, as far as um, you know what you and and you know I'm just throwing it out there as far as mm -hmm. what you feel the is going to be happening with the individuals who have that, um, I'd kind of like to get your opinion. What do you think is going to be going on with them? Uh, right. My, a lot of my family members have had it, even too many uh, children yeah, have had it. Me too. Just before my sister had it, I said to her, and I quote this, don't have any of it and she was in charge of a department in the hospital don't have anything it'll ruin your blood cell your, your white blood cell your, your immune system it'll ruin it it'll only fight covid and it'll ruin it so don't have it and she had it she had both shots yeah. three weeks after she caught the flu a cold sorry she caught a cold she couldn't get rid of it so because of her position she had a blood test she had low white cells low yeah. palates and I said, uh, and she said, "You did tell me." So I already, I already knew this six months ago. Right, right. But try telling people, and 
anyone who's willing to have it who, who gets it will be surprisingly defensive on it. Very surprisingly. So yeah, in my book, it's like an hypnotism. They've been hypnotized to have it somehow. Right, sure. right. What, yeah. what will happen in the future? Hmm. Right. Um, yeah. And so she started from, she was, she had a clean bill of health and, and mm. um, she was, you know, perfectly healthy prior, right? Yeah. Mm. And then, and that's, of course. That's my sister. That's my sister. So yeah. I mean, there's so much direct. pressure over, mm. over there in the UK. Um, you guys so are well. fighting pressure, pressure mm. to have it done. And uh, you all are fighting you know, constantly to to get that taken away and and ban. There's, 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 there's many uh, marches, millions marched in London against having it, and you don't see that on mainstream. Yeah. Uh, no, of course. Most of the roundabout, you get loads of posters on the roundabouts. I'm in a few groups that, against it, and uh, there's nothing in the mainstream. And it, there's a lot of deaths from the V, and you don't see that in the mainstream. Correct. You, you can go on. You can go on the government site, and it's there, and, there, and that's probably manipulated anyway. Right, right, yeah. right. If you can find it on there, I've heard it's very difficult to actually get to the 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 totals and the tallies yeah. of of everything that it does to people, vision, health. Um, it's, like know, con, it's like a con. It's like a con. It's like a contract where everything it's really meaning is in small print, so you can't see it. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Yeah. yeah. Well, hopefully, um, you know, I wish the best to all of those people. They've made a choice. They've made a decision, and mm -hmm. um, you know that is their that's their choice. They get to do that. Mm -hmm. It's the free will planet. So um, yeah, the, the problem with that, and this is the problem. Uh, it's a lot of people think it's depopulation and they'll all die within five or ten years. There's a lot of that, and it's you know you can do it. Yeah. If that was the case, and who runs who runs the radio active power stations? Who runs the transport system? Who gets your food in the shop? If they not here, then all of a sudden the world changes big time. Even for the ones who who said no to it. So it might be their choice, but their choice also matters a lot to us as well because all of a sudden the old world is will be in a mess uh, the world has to be this way right mm -hmm. now so it's the breakdown of what we know and what has been and what hasn't worked for centuries and so now we have the opportunity to restart you know put push the reset button and um, uh, with the with the crash and burn of all the systems that have been in place, it's it's a time of realignment. It's a time of mm. harmony, of majesty, of you know, really Aquarius energies, right? Like the song. <laughs> and um, it's it's fine. The, the one thing that has woke me up a bit is if they could lie about what's going on now in the last two years and everything that you ever given on, on Google at school education is it a lie everything yeah so by that I'm going to say something now that you probably object to I've been checking uh, and this is because I've got a friend who's a pilot who is a hundred percent behind the flat air theory now, I've been he's, checking that out I'm sorry say that again he's a hundred percent he, he says the earth is flat. He's a pilot. I've heard that, actually. Yeah, but he, he's the pilot. He's not oh. like, he, he's, he's the one in, up there watching it. So the last few months I've been watching all the theories, and most of them, are, a lot of them are the old religions, where, where we're in sort of do, a, a dome, and the sun and the moon are only a few thousand miles away, and they go round. And once you get into that, you, you can't disprove it. <laughs> you really can't. So that's what I've been looking at at the moment. And now someone might say, well, I should know this. Well, I've asked the questions and they won't give me the answer, but they won't give me the yes or no answer. Ah. They're letting me find that out. Now, sometimes I go off planet, but I use portals. So 
I use them portal where I could go anywhere, so I don't actually see what the Earth's like coming down. I actually don't travel uh, through space into the Earth. I actually use portals, so it's quite interesting theory. And uh, once you get into it, you think you can't. It, you can prove it's more flat than it isn't. A bit like if you were seeing land in a boat and it was 150 miles away, you could still see that land. Now, if the Earth is 7,000 uh, miles in diameter, you shouldn't be able to see that land. It should be on the curve, if you know what I mean. So that's okay. sort of that. It's things like that are quite interesting. And okay. the uh, encyclopedias before 58 quote, the Earth is flat. And in 1958, they went to the Antarctica reunion of all the countries and they made an agreement. Was that agreement to do with that? Because after 58, everything was. The Earth is global and everything, but you, you, you get it. The Antarctic is supposed to be all around us, right? And we're, we're in like a dome. Yeah, <laughs> quite interesting. Right. Whether yeah. I believe it or not, I'm still, I'm still like that. But okay. I can't, okay. I can't disbelieve it. Yeah. So that's some, that's some I've been looking at. I've never told anyone that. So. Okay, and you know, um, that's very interesting because I have, uh, you are probably. Um, the third or fourth person that I have had the privilege of um, hearing that and discussing that particular topic with. Uh, mm. Now I haven't re I haven't researched, uh, so I can't say a whole lot about it. The only thing that I will add to what you said is pretty much everything that we know, everything that we have learned or gained knowledge about you know in the past from the past years not the past two years but you know the past past um i want to say that that is all a bunch of bs we, we didn't but we didn't have um, tools electronic tools to late 1890s so do you think a stonemason built them in and some of them were built supposed to be 15 years Mm, and some of them are massive, really. You know, they look like giants wearing a wish cup, I don't know. Right. So, so did they have a depopulation three or four hundred years ago? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Your right. mind's got to be open to all these. Another another reason about the fact that right, the sun's supposed to be 94 million miles away, or 93 million miles away. So, you see the sun small in the distance and then it goes massive. We're only a few hundred miles. Uh, why is it so different? And mm. when it shines through a cloud at two angles, why do you get two two rays on one side? Shouldn't it be parallel? Right. Very so, good point. Yeah. It, when you start going into it, you start thinking. Mm. The other things the moon's supposed to have, uh, like this is. I've only seen this today. I can image on it. It looks like the islands on the. But don't, that's not official yet. I'm checking that out. That okay. Told. But there's two more parts that were supposed to be Atlantic and Lemurian. But uh, that's my latest one. Okay. Well, very <laughs> it can be quite, good. When you open the Pandora box, you can't close it again. No, no. So we might have to do another one of these so you can come back on and tell us what you found. <laughs> wow, very good. Um, I wanted to go back briefly to something we started off with, and um, that was about your, um, so the solar flare, the solar flash that uh, I've also gotten some knowledge about. Um, of course, we're not given dates and times. Uh, that's not part of the deal, but uh, I, I was curious. Uh, I, I am. <laughs> you well, yeah. You. I, I've, ne you I've never that. done dates. I've never got done you dates. Know, oh, you before. don't. Okay. I don't. Only David did dates. I've never done dates, but I'm giving it a month now. Uh, November. Really? Mm hmm Oh, okay. Very interesting. Um, so, uh, you know, that leads me to. I, I, a really serious question, I guess, and this is probably not, it, it's more personal because, uh, you know, I've got my conference coming up, but uh, so my conference is the 19th through the uh, 21st of November. 
And the 22nd of November is supposed to be this huge, massive day. And I don't have any answers, but that's what I've heard. Do you want to add anything to that? Well, I channeled Samuel, Archangel Samuel, which surprisingly is uh, an aspect of someone we know, but I'm not telling you yet. Okay, okay. <laughs> Now, Fanuel is in the Four Horsemen, and he is uh, deaf, okay? Deaf right. can also be deaf of a chunk, uh, sure. of a reality, obviously. Uh, is, the first is he horseman, four? he's four. He is four, okay. Yeah. No coincidence uh, there. Which I channeled, yeah. The first one's Michael. The okay. second one is uh, Raphael okay. with the sword. The third one is Gabriel. And I have an idea who Gabriel is. So, the Four. the event is all connected to them. And I think it's to do with the what's happening with the world that's running. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, and go I, ahead. I believe, surprisingly, the only book I have ever bought, because I channel everything, was the Book of Enoch. And they're in there. The four horsemen are there. In there. Oh. And I only bought that about eight months ago. So, and uh, the other thing is co connecting to the grid, like I have been doing. The, I mean, the crystal, which is creating the human grid. Uh, Ivan Teller actually said that I'm connected to the crystals. Now, I didn't know the crystals existed six, seven weeks ago until they contacted me during an event with David. And two weeks after, Ivan said that I'm connected to him. He don't know me. He just came out with that. Yeah, so. How about that? Okay. He also he also said I'm uh, Jesus's brother. That's an aspect of it. I used to be Jesus' brother. Now I've already told uh, me and David are supposed to be brothers of Jesus. We we agreed through channeling when we did. I'm James, who's John, and I've been oh. telling us to say he's that, which is quite confirmation. I like that sort of thing. You right. Know, you get confirmed that something you know and someone else tells you. Right, good. right, right. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's amazing. So, and, and you know, with with what you both do, and uh, I guess, you know, I'm going to have to get David on here too, but um, uh, with what you both do and how you both work together, uh, mm -hmm. I can definitely see you were, you've had, uh, I, I doubt just one connection. I'm sure there's been many lives together that you've both shared in different aspects and relationships but uh, do, you, do you want to know one of them then <laughs> yeah sure hit me right on, on atlantis right i was uh i was hermes on atlantis he was fourth i i actually wrote the emerald tablets on the atlantis the knowledge came from the other aspect from the crystal dimension and that's why that's why Atlantis knew everything about how crystals work, because they were given it. Uh, well, so I said, uh, what we used to do, we, we used to have like 50, 50 years sleeps. But I used to sleep and you had 50 years running it and then we used to swap and swap. So we lived <laughs> about a thousand years, you know, oh, about my. over a thousand years. I think we must have had a few years of together. Yes. But mainly, we were, sometimes we could merge if we could have power. You know, merge our, our essence, basically. Okay. So, okay. Yeah, quite interesting. I'm sure right. I was going to say something else. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. So it's no, it's no fault that you two have have met each other um, through your group, um, Team Lightworkers. Uh, is it still AA Team Lightworkers of? Earth? It's whatever it's whatever our boss wants us to do it. <laughs> Sophie. Gotcha. Sophie's got us together. Sophie's the organizer. Okay. So, Sophie's the uh, spy of God. Yeah. <laughs> the spy of God. Okay. Just one sec. I think that's a just one second. Sure, no problem. I know you it going. Yeah, and uh, Sophie just phoned me saying she's spying on me already. <laughs> <laughs> and it's late there, right? It's like eleven thirty. Uh, where you are. Twelve. 
Yeah, quotes as well. Oh my! Well, um, thank you for for doing this. I know it. Uh, it it's not late for me. <laughs> well, you never sleep. You've already told me you never sleep. So, something I wanted to say. I remembered it. Okay. But I think about it. What any what color is Raphael? Green. Green. What tablets did Hermes make? Uh, what tablets do they make? What what Hermes on Atlantis? What tablet did he did he uh, scripture? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, the I green. Just, I just told you emerald. Emerald. Tablet. Okay. My company here, uh, which I made in 1990, was Emerald World. Uh, I live in Eel Green on uh, Green Ash Road. Everything green. <laughs> you can get any greener. <laughs> yeah. How about that? And I, I, I've just bought a crystal recently. <laughs> they called to me. They normally do when they call to me. Right. Yes. And um, Emerald. Of ooh, that is gorgeous. Yeah. Gorgeous. So That's my new two. You have you have a lot of green in your life, obviously. Mm. So let me I'm get. Not a, I'm, 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 I'm not a green fan. It <laughs> just comes to. <laughs> <laughs> so. Very good. Lots of coincidences and synchronicities mm. that that ultimately come together as they should. Um, mm. You know, it's confirmation after confirmation, and they come together. And finally, eventually, um, as these continue to happen, um, you know, people will get it. You know, mm. I mean, you you got it a long time ago when you were um, a mere child, but uh, for a lot of us, it's taken a lifetime to get where we are now. And um, I'm one of those. So I'm still I'm still learning and growing, as you well know, mm -hmm. getting me out of hot water periodically. So um, yeah, another thing I'm looking at at the moment, we know that the V doesn't feel healthy to us. So the possibility it gives us something that's like nanotechnology's eye. I'm not 100. percent I'm not a scientist, anything, or a pharmaceutical person. But also our food is always we always giving very bad stuff in the food. Our water is, the chemtrails are. So at the moment, uh, I'm having borax solution, and that's for the chemtrails, because it's what it's supposed to do is get, I can actually, I know when it's chemtrails without looking now, because since I've had uh -huh. the borax solution, you get like a little, uh, like a little white phlegm in your mouth. And what happens is you're supposed to, when you swallow it, it goes into your acid, and it activates it. Now, obviously, it's also 5G. So, is everything just one big circle? So, at the moment, I'm having I wear sugar eye. I've got some onyx for the for the frequency. I'm having borax, and obviously, and I'm thinking of getting some pine tea as well. So, I'm thinking of all the ways because at the end of the day, I still am only human. I might have a very high aspects and a good healer, but uh, you, you can't be too careful anyway. Right. Right. And I think it's just part of taking care of ourselves, not just this mm. vessel, this physical vessel, but also our, our aura, our, mm. um, you know, our, uh, our, the other parts of us that we don't see, which are just as important, maybe even more important right now, um, as they get attacked frequently and most people don't even realize it. But, um, so when you were you were talking about the chemtrails and uh, you know what's in them that we breathe is that uh, the graphene, the the oxide, the gra the, the borax. The borax is supposed to get rid of that. Now borax makes your body alkaline, it, and it, if that, if even if it's not there, if it's making your body alkaline, it must be good. Right. Right. Yeah. And and I think that's. That's one of the ways with the chemtrails that they're um, there, you know, the powers that are happening right now. Um, that's one of the ways that they're doing the graphene, uh, getting it into us physical beings. But um, 
there's other things that they do, of course. Yeah, they're supposed to be calcium. I think it's calcium, like nanoparticles in the chemtrail that we've covered up that. Right, uh, right. And that's and probably more day. In the, in the swabs that mm. they're doing, um, you know, not only that, but in the masks. I mean, I wish people would take your mask if it's if it's the blue one that comes from a certain country that um, maybe we have some we have some uh, issues going forward with. So take that mask, put it over uh, a boiling pot of water and see what comes out of it. Prove this to yourself. Come into the light, you know, just try it and uh, stop wearing them. If you have to wear a mask, stop wearing those masks. They have that uh, that uh, filament in I, them. I, I, I haven't worn one yet. Yeah, and oh, good for you, good for you. Millions have, millions are, and they grab the same thing every time, they're cheap. So, uh, and, and they're given out at all places because they're cheap. You know, there's a reason uh, for cheap. <laughs> I've seen someone wear like uh, a water suit with a couple of masks on, mask on the head, mask on the dog. Oh, thank you. Poor dog. And I mean all over the dog. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Oh my God. It's insane. It's insane. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, God love them. They're part of this whole thing too, in their own way. So. But they, they are, they're causing it by going with the fear yeah if they if they were if it was if they didn't accept it they wouldn't push it worse they wouldn't make it worse they'd stop it instantly yeah and that's what happened what did happen uh yeah our parliament wanted to passports for all the mps so the mp yeah. they were testing it and the mps about five or six of them stayed outside and said we're not going in that we haven't got a passport we're going in and they squashed it and that's all you have to do resistance against it very good and uh and that's what happened very good and resistance is so important and there's millions of there you millions go. of people who can do that oh you took a picture oh my goodness poor puppy <laughs> oh that's insane isn't it oh my goodness well, I guess, you know, it's not for me to judge. That's not my job. That's not my role. So um, I, I'm a people lover regardless. Uh, so I'll tell, I'll tell you what, what's good is when you're not wearing a mask and everyone was wearing them, now you don't have to wear them in this country. You could go in the middle aisle of a supermarket and everyone parts. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I don't yeah. move out of the way. I let them move out of the way. <laughs> oh, I'm yeah. Moses again. I'm Moses again. One, one, of me as, one, of, one of my aspects was Moses, so oh, I'm okay. Moses again, but I'm parting the people. I can shop better. <laughs> How so, funny. How funny. Yeah. Well, then, you know, I may have worked with you because in a past life, mm -hmm. I was a, uh, I helped Moses part the sea. So how cool was that? Do you, do you remember the part in the sea? Because I know how it was done. No, I don't. But I, he, so I was part of helping him. He was mm. the, he did it, right? But he did uh, it with us. He did it with a staff. And he didn't part the sea. He funneled the sea. He created a portal in the sea. Ah, oh, okay. And a bit like Merlin's portal, and a staff actually. Yeah. And he went through. So it wasn't party, it was like a circle thing. Okay. And that, that I am. And the thing is, I don't tell many people about the Jesus and the Moses because I'm not religious, even though I'm in the book. Right. <laughs> well, not weird. either, but, yeah. you know, but I'm, in the, I'm in the book. We've all been different things. Mm. Mm. So, very cool. You know, that makes a lot more sense with Moses and a portal, mm. right? Um, and so the abilities were not like we think they were. It's not the ability. So the abilities were not like in a 3D kind of a way. They were metaphysical um, mm. in that way. Yeah, I could definitely see that. Mm. So 
Very good. Very good. So um, we are approaching probably the end of, of the first video. I wanted to just get a little taste. Um, and you do them five minutes. That, honestly, you see them carrying up. You could do this for hours and it's still stay up. Yeah. Oh, interesting. Okay. But, but we won't do hours. Okay, hours. <laughs> no, I think it's uh, it's getting to the kind of late where you are anyway. Even though you've never sleep. Oh, <laughs> give, give, give us five minutes. What 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 have you been doing then? Ah, so um, well, I have um, I have been working, of course, on the conference, getting everything ready to go with that, um, which is going to be amazing. And uh, it'll be a, a total connection with people physically there in Florida at this time. Uh, more like meeting your soul family. That's, that's really how I feel about it. And again, it's divinely guided. Um, it, there's a virtual component. So people who are around the world or maybe even can't, just can't get there, uh, they'll have an opportunity to connect that way. Mm -hmm. Again, it's our soul family, right? You're yeah. there for a reason. So um, I've been working on that and uh, I'm, I've been in the same place now for about a week, which is amazing. <laughs> I forgot what it was like to actually be somewhere um, for a continuous stretch of time. Um, so my, my quick story here is uh, where I had been living, uh, the, the, um, the individual was selling the property. And uh, so of course I had to leave, you know, it was temporary anyway. So that was my time. So I took off, uh, that was about April, middle of April this year and uh i've been traveling around north america meeting people uh having amazing amazing synchronicities and i'll tell you about one so um let me think i had gone to i had traveled out to colorado springs from georgia and there was an amazing conference there that i went to and uh, from after the conference, it was three days over a weekend um, in late August. So I, I left and I traveled. I figured out, you know, I'm so close. I'm going to go to Rocky Mountain National Park, which is just north of there. I'd never been. Gorgeous, beautiful, green. And um, I thought, OK, so I, I was there and I, I didn't really stay very long at all because they had certain requirements that I was not okay with. So I left there and I found myself in a, um, a rest stop. This particular rest stop, I stayed overnight, uh, slept in the vehicle. And the next morning, two cars over from me was a, a, a wonderful woman who was um so awake i was blown away and um she's not communicating with her husband because they're not on the same page her frequency and her um, vibration was so high so we connected um and she had to take off during that day i took everything out of the vehicle rearranged it and by now it's afternoon it's raining and i thought you know i kind of heard that gu my guides tell me you should stay another night and i thought okay good idea stayed another night it kind of rained off and on and again i was in the vehicle and um <laughs> the next morning there was no one else in the entire rest area parking except for one other car this particular other car was now across from me. And here, um, I connected to a war vet. He was awake and open and hadn't been able 
to talk with anybody because of his PTSD mm. for months, months. So by the time we left our, our um, just the time together, I mean, you know, we were hugging. It was just amazing. I love people. And uh, what, what great and just a fundamental opportunity to connect with individuals one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. Just, you know, you, you can't put that in words. Um, so anyway, these synchronicities keep happening. And uh, I'm, I, I, I vow and I, I, I try, I say this word, it's a little difficult for me, but I, I am surrendering to being at the right place at the right time. And so that's, that's really my job right now, I guess you could say. So being in, being in the same place for a whole week um, uh, is great. I'm, I'm so digging it <laughs> until my next adventure. And, and then uh, I'll see where, where I go from here. But right now I'm, I'm uh, uh, back in Arizona. So. Well, I su a suggestion. Find a sacred place. It might even not be found. It might be a sacred place in a thousand years. You know it, but no one else knows it. And mm -hmm. connect with the highest aspect. You might not know the highest aspect, just connect anywhere. And uh, it's like it's like a form of awakening. And then connect. You can connect to the crystals and put a bit of that energy in. Let's get them going. Very yeah. good. Okay, I love that. Um, I try to always connect to the trees as well because they are there for us and uh you know just just ready for us to get a, to to have the veil lifted and and become even more awake so very good when i actually merged in 10 minutes i knew absolutely everything everything was accessible to me instantly mm -hmm. uh, and then obviously we demerged but part of us and stayed with it which is great okay. Yeah. Now, can you get back to that place whenever you want and just ask uh, questions freely? No, I want to go to different places. So, uh, in December, uh, winter solstice, if it's still here, <laughs> never know. Uh, we're going, it will be here. It will we're be going here. to, uh, where are we going to? Uh, what's that sacred place down south? And it's not Stonehenge, it's the other one. Uh, just one sec. I've got to tell you. <laughs> you have so many sacred places, you can't remember where they all are. Uh, you, you, you should know this. It's Glastonbury, I think. I'm going there. Yeah. I think I think there's a, a few of us going there, uh, going down there to uh, to connect because it is a sacred time anyway. Isn't it? Okay. Uh, and it looks like I might take uh, so uh, glass and very sacred. <laughs> it's even it's called glass and, glass and very sacred. J O U. I'm not sure what that means. J O U. Hmm. Yeah. And what makes it so sacred, Philip? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> it's probably a sacred. It's just a speak. It's an oldie place that everyone goes to celebrate spiritual. So it's a bit like Stonehenge, but glass and very. You've heard of Glastonbury, haven't you? I've heard of it. I have. I, I don't know too much about it. It, it. it probably is like Sedona or Mount Shasta here, is what I'm hmm. kind of assuming. Mount, uh, Pilot Mountain yeah. in North Carolina. You know, we have some, some big spiritual uh, power places, vortexes as well. So hmm. It will be very powerful, yeah. We're wow. going for three, possibly three days. Oh, if, if we uh, <laughs> just don't know, don't say that. Don't say that. We'll we'll see. We'll see what uh, what what all uh, source has uh, for planned for us. And um, you know, I just I just go one day at a time. I I've learned mm -hmm. to go and follow my heart and not my head. And uh, I I really think because I'm. I'm, I'm doing that and have been doing that now for some time. Um, I'm just, I, I have the op amazing opportunities 
come to me. Mm-hmm. Um, and I, 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 I feel, yeah, I feel Earth's like a prison planet. I really do feel like, and once we raise the vibration, that's the change over. Yep, yep. Really get, release the shackles. Right, right. Yeah. So in saying that, you know, if, if people release the fear and the hate and the dividedness, and we all just can come together, right? And see mm. that other, that people have their own opinion. It's not, they can have their own opinions. You know, there's no reason to to give out all of this negativity. Um, so if we can just get get rid of the fear and and raise our vibration, you know, the world is is a better place.